this gas station has become well known for drug activity. Uh, we're gonna roll in there and just show our presence and make sure there's no illicit activity going on. Why are you wanna leave when I'm coming in, my man? Hey, get back here! Stop! 875, search your tins your own foot. Hard scribe on Clemson. You better get it on the ground. You're gonna get tased. I'm gonna kill you and run him by the Goodwill. Goodyear. <laughs> Yeah, 875. He just walked in the back of my car and coming to you. Excellent, thank you. Got any units back? Unit got him, they're bringing him back. 621, heavy smell. <laughs> heavy smell, 600. You can hey, smell the weed when we got out. What's this a car he jumped out of? It's strong coming out of this car. Oh, <laughs> it's him. His ID's right there. He's gonna get here and up arresting him. I've got him in the back. Yep, there he is. Five, 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 where you at? Step out, man. AM, PM. Turn around. He was real easy. He's top deck for me. You're under arrest, man. All right. We'll find out what all for in a minute. This your car? Why are you running? Because why? I can smell green in there. We're getting ready to search it, all right? You it's understand? That's behind the seat. Behind the seat? How much you got? I'm not sure. Okay. Did you just buy it from that other guy? No. That's, that's somebody else. All right. It's not yours, though? Okay. You left your car and your ID on the seat, man. Did you know that? Yes, sir. All right. Be cool. Keep being cool. I'll be cool with you, all right? You all right? You're not hurt or anything? Did you cut through them woods, man? All right. I got your shoes for you, okay? We'll get them back to you here in a second, okay, man? All right. Keep being cool, okay? All right. We're gonna search the car real quick. That's it, that's all he's running over. Stick around, get a ticket, or you run and go to jail. Hey, look, I'm not charging you with disorderly or, dis or resist or nothing like that, all right? All I'm charging you with is that weed that's in your car. Just catching possession, man, that's it. You're gonna go down to the jail day, you're gonna hit bond court this evening, and you'll be home. Right. You never know what's gonna happen, man. Somebody jumps out of the car, takes off running. For no reason. I'd, I'd probably never paid attention to him. And then he's just like, hey, I got weed. Let's run. He's being cool. He made a mistake. Told me right where the marijuana was. So he's going to get booked and he shouldn't have ran. That's what happens when you run. You're going to go to jail. Black and color Ford uh, Explorer. Reach for stops. Careless operation speed. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm Deputy Slip with the Rancher County Sheriff's Department. The reason I stopped you is uh, we're going a little quick back there through the through the 35. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are you putting on your makeup while you're driving? I was wiping my face. Okay. Some lotion. Okay. Why are you sweating so bad? That's this stuff right here. Huh? This stuff right here. Okay. Well, you look like you're sweating. You ain't nervous or nothing, are you? Nervous. Do you have your insurance with you? It's my daughter's car. It is. You don't have it in the glove box or anything. He never sent it to us. Okay. Do me a favor real quick. Step out of the car. I'm back here. I don't want you to get hit. You don't have your weapons or nothing on you, do you? No, no. The only reason I'm asking you, you seem a little nervous and you're sweating. It's like six, it's like degrees out of here, okay? Okay. That's a lot. There's nothing in the vehicle that's illegal? No. Okay. You have a problem if I check? Um, I really rather you not take my car because I do have something, the alcohol I'm taking to work. You have the alcohol you're taking to work? Yeah. What is it? Beer? Jaeger. Wine, Jaeger. Is it open? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But you don't have a problem other than that. I'm not too worried about that if you're taking it to work. All right, hang tight right here with Deputy Perez, okay? Come on back here. It's fine. Is there anything in the vehicle you can tell about? Oh, that's fine. We said, or we said. I think there's a little bit of marijuana in there. Is it a little bit? Okay, that's fine. Where is it at? Stay right here. Okay, it's in the glove compartment. Glove compartment for 600. 
Found a little bit of marijuana. Just trying to thoroughly go through the vehicle now that we've already found some illegal substance. I don't even belong to me. That's fine. Who does it belong to? A friend of yours? The car's got quite a lot of stuff in it. Put your hands behind your back for me. Until I get done uh, searching, you're placing in detention, okay? What's all that white powder in the cup holder? That cold mellow yellow from Taco Bell. Oh, yeah, that's Mountain Dew. Okay, Mountain Dew, mellow yellow. What's the white powder that's under it? I don't know. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this as a uh, field test kit for cocaine. If it turns blue, it'll show a base. So we're going we're gonna to test it and see if it, it is what it is. You can see the tip of it, we touched in that powder. It's turning bright blue. It shows a positive for a cocaine base. So you see that? That's a positive uh, test for cocaine. I don't, I don't, I don't do cocaine, no. I'm going okay. to that. Well, right now you're under arrest for the possession of cocaine and possession of marijuana, all right? Are you serious? That little, come on. You don't have anything on you, do you? If you, if you do, then you need to let Deputy Perez know. And the only reason I'm saying that is was if you go to the jail and you've got something on you, they're going to search you there, and then you're, it's a whole different level of introducing contraband to a prison. So do you have anything I need to worry about? Huh? Yes, I do. OK, so tell me. No, sir, I got it. What is in here? What's in here? Drugs. So well, you want me to believe that what, what was in the cup holder is not yours? I don't do it. No, I don't do it. You don't do it? No. Well, by the looks, it looks like you're selling it, right? Any other pockets I need to look? You know that's going to be a distribution charge, correct? OK. Have you been locked up for distribution before? Have you been locked up for any kind of possession before? Some possession a long time ago. Marijuana? OK. She was placed under arrest for field six. Um, six one gram bags of cocaine in her pocket. So she's under arrest for some possession of marijuana and uh, possession with intent to distribute cocaine. We just had about six or seven, eight shots fired. And I hear somebody screaming, might have one hit, stand by. Just watch yourself, okay? Central 341. Hey, boss, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. All right, let me see your hands. Okay, so hold on. Central, send me a 1052, my location, please. We got one Bravo mic, 1075, I know how many times. How many times you been shot, boss? All right, hold on, boss, hold on for me. Was it in the car? Yeah, it was. But in a white truck? Was it a white pickup truck? Was it a white van? White pickup truck? Why they? Which way did they head, boss? You can't remember? Okay. How many people were in the van? In the truck? Two people in the truck. All right. Where are you shot at? I see. I see the one on the arm. Your leg too. I got an ambulance coming. Well, do you know these guys that were you having beef with? They just drove up to you and shot you? shot me. For no reasons? OK, just be honest with me, OK? That's so I can help you out, all right? Be honest. All right. Hey, boss, they're coming, OK? I need you to stick with me, all right? I mean, where else you bleeding at? Where else you hurting at right now? You got a gunshot to the right, right shoulder. Uh -huh. His uh, right leg appears to be snapped right below the knee. Uh -huh. I was down the street when they drove by. They just drove by and shot at him. This is a crime scene now at this time. Right now, they'll start looking for shell casings to hopefully figure out who did this. I'm not buying that. He was just walking, he got shot at. Yeah, yeah. You know, not, is, is that far-fetched? No, but, you know, right. All right. You try your best to preserve the crime scene, but our first and most priority is the victim. Right now, he's going to be heading to the hospital. He appears to not have any type of life-threatening injuries, but at this time, it's unsure. Hopefully, we find out who did this, because they need to definitely be, be brought in. Um, so right now, we're done with our part here. The scene has been officially turned over to the city, 
and uh, we've been cleared, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll move out and move on to the next one. Her husband is outside with his brother, and they're shooting through that someone. Uh, we're on our way to a shots fired call. Caller stating her husband and her brother-in-law are outside shooting at someone. Hey, pop your trunk. Is your reason why there's shots going off like that? And she was like, Well, that's him out there shooting or whatever. And I was like, Well, that's not acceptable at nighttime if he's just firing off his gun. And we sitting in the house, hostage, because we don't know where the shots are coming from. Okay, but you haven't been hit, nobody been hit, nothing. No. Else. Nothing you know of. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Charles Department! Who's else who's else back here? Where's the weapons? Corner. Okay. I have I have a 380 that's empty in my vest. Alright. Keep keep your hands up. There's you're you're not the one shooting off, right? We're we're the ones okay. shooting. Y'all y'all doing it to scare people or what? Huh? Y'all just shooting to scare people? These or are or the guys that have been harassing my brother. Yeah. Leave that there until I walk okay. away. Yeah. Okay, what are the guys with the flashlights doing? Are they just yeah. walking around? Do they have guns as well? Like I don't I'm just trying to understand why you guys are just shooting off so many rounds right now. What, what so, is it, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's yes. doing what he always does. Which is? We'll be hanging out on the back porch or just standing out here, and he'll shine his flashlight at us. Okay. I saw him over here about 35 yards in the woods. And what was he And doing? I was yelling at him, telling him he's trespassing. Did he say anything back? No, he never does. Just shoot, shooting guns just because somebody's flashing a flashlight at you, it's not really acceptable. you got to help me understand what made you want to start shooting off all these rounds. Y'all been going at it for a while. We have. I mean, I can't do anything if I don't make contact with the guy. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing it. All right, sir. Uh, as far as defending your property, you, of course, have the right to do that. However, uh, they do need to make some kind of threat. If someone's trespassing on your property, I don't believe that gives you the right to shoot. Call up. I'd rather us go marching through these woods trying to figure out someone on your property because that's my job. Okay. So, you guys have a good night, okay? All right. Have Take care. Pleasure. You can't just fire off rounds at someone that's, that's walking on your land. That's that's not acceptable. There, there has to be some type of deadly force or some type of threat towards him or his family. He, he can't just blindly fire in the woods because he sees somebody walking. So I just wanted him to educate himself. So basically we got a call, landlord versus tenant. Looks like somebody wants us to make somebody leave. So we'll go and let's see what the situation is. Forty, I'm single 18. What's going on? Tim. Um, he just, about once every two weeks, he gets the raisin can. I think he's drunk, I'm not sure. Well, it smells like he's been drinking, so. But one time he said that there was people running across the top of his trailer. Then they said there was. Then he said there was clowns looking in his windows. And uh, then he said that somebody got up there to that bathroom window and was watching his wife. I don't know, I'm just tired of it. So what? What did you all call us for tonight? What do we? What do you need us to do? He's on yelling and raising cane. He was. He's been out here about two hours raising cane, yelling. Okay. I wasn't going to evict him, but I just can't take any more of it. I understand. Well, I'll try to tell him to keep this, it inside. This goes on until 3 and 4 in the morning sometimes. I get it. It's insane. I get it. Okay. All right. Good luck to y'all. All right. So, I mean, their big complaint is 
You're out here making noise all hours or whatever. Hey, I'm just saying what they're complaining. Come to okay. your house and took your dog, man. My, I just got him the day before yesterday. He's a train. Who would take um, the dog, though? I don't know. There have been people peeking in my windows. Man, they run a saw saw around my house. I want a full investigate. I'm glad to see you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm on probation for simple stuff. Nothing big, sir. But when you got people, my wife can't even take a bath. They're crawling under the house, beating on the floors, man. So sir? you're telling me you want a report? You got your ID? I, wanna, I got my ID. I'm May I have your ID, bombing. please? Yeah, go get my wallet and stuff. Yes, sir. Let me get my pad. I'll be right hey, back. man, this is for real, sir. I, I didn't say it wasn't, man. Oh, goodness. Let's see. He's making a claim that maybe some voyeurism or something, people looking in his window at his wife. I'm not 100% sure. Man, you are officer, sir. Your name is R what? It's Corporal Fergal. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Anyway, look, um, if somebody so come in and took your line? dog, mess with your family, what would you do? Shoot them on sight, right? I would make a report like you're doing. <laughs> it's like you can't defend yourself. You can't have a gun. You can't have nothing. Well, and call us. I mean, I'm not aware of any of this because you're not making family, complaints. You can't have guns and stuff. I get it, but I'm not aware of this because you haven't made any complaints up till tonight. So now that there's a complaint made, we can investigate some things. Thank you, man. All right. Anything else I can do for you all tonight? That's it, sir. All right. You have a good night. Good luck to you all. Call us if something happens. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to get that sign fixed, though. Nope. Best thing you can do is call 911. Hey, if I get, if I tie him down, hog tie him in the yard, don't, me up. don't do that. Don't Just do call that. us. Okay, call y'all. That's okay. the safest thing you can do. All right. If I hog tie him. Go inside with your wife. Thank you, sir. Yep. I'm not sure. I mean, according to the landlord, he's always high and drunk. So we'll write a report, send it to investigations, have them look into it, and that's the best I can do right now. Head up here to the, to the Walmart. They had a, a simple assault. They had asked him to leave, and he started throwing rocks at somebody and ended up assaulting somebody. They, they've got the guy detained. One of the deputies came over the radio and asked for an ambulance and we could hear the uh, suspect in the background screaming. And I guess this guy's got, uh, I don't want to go to jail, Itis, because he's now kicking, uh, kicking everything. Get him out and front of him out until the EMS gets here. Get off my leg, kill me. No, because you've been trying to kick everybody. So we're going to sit just like this. We're going to stay just like this until EMS gets here, okay? I ain't going to kick your bitch ass pig ass. You police ass bitch ass bitch. That was me. You a bitch. You a police pig ass. You don't know about nothing. He's on something Get bad. Get away from me. Has he had alcohol? He, he he's on, like he has, yeah. He's on a lot of something. This is this is his bag. We found a couple syringes. I haven't found any uh, you know, narcotics, but we did find a couple syringes, which we expect. He's, uh, I believe I've dealt with him before. He's a meth user and a heroin user, so. He seems to be pretty high right now. He's sleeping right now. As you can see how bad meth is. 
whenever somebody's really out on, strung out on drugs. They'll have spikes in their behavior. One minute they'll be Superman, and then five minutes later, he's passed out taking a nap. So I got a deputy going down to the, um, to the hospital with him. He's being charged with uh, simple assault and uh, some disorderly conduct charges, but he's going down to the hospital to get checked out. Uh, all in all, everything worked out. And, uh, whenever he's checked out and he's fine and cleared by the hospital, he'll be transported to the detention center.